Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So last week I made a video on how to counter every single unit in Age of Empires 2. You guys loved it and you guys asked for a video on how to counter unique units and so I delivered. This video is going to be how to counter every single unique unit in Age of Empires 2. Now when I talk about unique unit, I talk about the one from the castle and also the one that's like a team bonus or the one that comes out of like attack like Flaming Camo, Genitor, Condotiero, etc. Those will all be included. But before we get started, make sure to check me out on Patreon if you want some exclusive content. We're also launching a community tournament open to all ELOs with cash prize. So if that's interesting to you patreon and discord is the socials to check out so with that said let's go ahead and start with the aztecs and we're going to go alphabetical order we'll go through these pretty quick so i won't spend too much time on each one all right, the Aztecs have the Jaguar Warrior, and the best way to counter the Jaguar Warrior is to stick to range units, especially Arbalest, Heavy CA, and Hand Cannoneer. All three of those units have enough DPS to take out the Jag and keep yourself safe from its high attack. I definitely don't recommend Infantry because it has an attack bonus against Infantry, and I don't really recommend Cavalry either because of the high attack of the Jaguar Warrior. It kind of does a good amount of damage to your Cavalry units, so we don't trade that effectively against it since it will have 20 attack when it's fully upgraded. So sticking to range units is going to be a good plan. Moving on to the Bengali, and their unique unit is going to be the Ratha. The way to counter the Ratha is usually just trash units. Skirms and Halves does incredibly well against the Ratha, mainly Skirms though, because although the Ratha can switch from melee, sorry, melee attack to range attack, it always counts as an archer unit. So Skirms will always have an attack bonus against it. So even if they're running at you, running at you with melee Ratha, you can just kite them and kind of whittle them down with Skirms. You can also go heavy camel against this unit. I just say avoid using like R Bless or heavy CA because Ratha has a lot of pierce armor and pretty high HP. So its weakness is really just its weak damage output. So anything that does a lot of damage to it is generally going to be a pretty solid choice. Next up, we got the Berbers, and they've got two unique units, the Camel Archer and the Genitor. For the Camel Archer, I recommend just sticking to Skirmishers for the most part, or in some cases, Arbalest can be solid. Also, Heavy Siege, like Heavy Scorpion Siege Onager, will always be good against range units, so that goes without saying. But the Camel Archer, just avoid using Heavy CA or CA against it, because it has an attack bonus against that unit. And I'd say avoid using Cavalry units, because it has a high damage output, so if you go like Paladin or Hisar, Camel Archer should be really solid against that. You could go Heavy Camel in some cases, but I would say it's more or less a secondary Camel. Counter. The main counter is going to be Skirms and Arbs. As far as how to counter Janitor, I think Camel or Heavy Camel is the absolute best, or just your own Skirmishers or Cavalry should be pretty solid. So those are three good choices to counter the Janitor, and all of them should be very solid choices. Next up, we got the Bohemians, and they've got the Hasite Wagon. Uh, Hasite Wagon is very easy to counter. I'd recommend just using anything melee unit. So usually Cavalry, Knights, Hussars is great. Uh, Monks with Redemption is also a really good option. Also, Mangonels especially do a lot of damage against the Hasite Wagon, so those are a good choice. Avoid using ranged units like Crossbows, Heavy CA, or Skirms, because the uh, unit's very tanky. They also kind of get the Hoofneeds, but Hoofneeds is basically just like Bombard Cannon, so nothing really changes there. Moving on to the Britons, they get the Longbowmen, and Longbowmen are very similar to Arbalest. I'd say the best counter to the Longbowmen is actually just heavily upgraded Skirms, so if you have full upgraded Skirms, that's your best bet in mid-late game. And then also, just having like a Cavalry unit that can jump on the Longbowmen is usually a good choice as well. That's why Britons usually go with Halbs, but if you can go like a Cav unit plus Skirms, you should be pretty solid into Longbowmen. Don't really use Siege Onagers or Heavy Scorpion, because Longbowmen outranges them by a mile. So if you want to go Siege, you can either go Bomber Cannon. If you have Siege Engineers, you have an extra range over the Longbow, so that's solid or you can go siege ram to kind of just charge at the longbow and soak up a lot of damage and those are your two options in terms of siege Next up, we got the Bulgarians. They've got the Conix. The best way to deal with the Conix is mainly like other cab units, but I would say the, the main difference there is that the Conic has lower pierce armor and it's much stronger in melee combat. So I would say like Halbidi are still good against Conic, but Halbs alone do not counter Conic. So I'd say mix in Alb and Harbs. Oh, sorry, Halbidir and Arbalest. That's okay. Heavy CA is usually pretty good against Conic because you can kill them and then kite the ones that spawn out of it. You can just run away from them, no problem. So I'd say Heavy CA is a solid counter. I would say Camels are not a good counter because the discounted Conic would just destroy Camels. So camels and halves only work if you've got a range unit behind it. Otherwise, monks are usually a good counter in the early game. And then heavy CA in late game should be solid or a composition of halves and arbs. Moving on, we got the Burgundians, and they've got Custodier. Custodier gets best countered by range units and a mass of range units. And once again, similar to Bulgarians, Cav Archers are probably the best bet in late game. However, in early game, sometimes Cav Archers can be a little awkward. So I'd probably say like Monks and Crossbows in early game, and then late game, Arbless, Talb Compositions, or probably like Heavy CA. That is very similar to the Conic in its strengths and weaknesses. The Custodier can be pretty deadly. Halbs work pretty well against the Custodier, but not in the early game. Like Pikes against is not good because they can hit and run you but in late game halbs can work just fine 
Next up, we got the Burmese and they've got the Rambai. This unit's biggest counter is probably going to be something like Mass Skirms and Arbalest that are in spread formation. However, if the Rambai are in low number, I can see Monks being a good counter as they have pretty short range. Camels work in some cases, but not the best. Uh, cavalry is really bad against the Rambai in most cases, so avoid that. Infantry is also pretty bad against them since they have high damage. Next up, we got the Byzantines and they rock the Cataphract. Now, Cataphract really does well against Camels and Halbs and those like the traditional counters to cavalry units. The best bet against Cataphract is to either go for mass monks to try to convert a lot of them. So you can go like Halbs plus monks or Camel plus monks. So even though the Camels don't do that well against the Cataphract, Halbs don't do that well, the monks can convert some Cataphracts and kind of keep them at bay. Otherwise, I just recommend going for Archer units, especially heavy CA because Cataphracts have trample damage and CA can just outrun them most of the time. Our blessed could get swarmed a bit too much sometimes. Next up, we got the Celts. Celt Wood Raiders are quite solid. Best counter to them is actually heavy infantry or cavalry, I think. Because I think archer units usually just get outrun by the Wood Raiders, so it's not the best. Heavy CA can be really good, though, against Wood Raiders. But otherwise, I recommend just heavy infantry. So anything like heavily upgraded champions, berserkers if you're something like Vikings, shooting champions, Teutonic like Knights, or heavy cavalry like Paladin can be great against Woads. Next up, we got the Chinese who are rocking the Chukunu. Best counter to Chukunu is going to be especially against Chinese who don't have bomber cannons. So best counter to Chukunu is probably just Onagers. Onagers, Scorpions, Heavy Siege does really well against this unit because Chukunu has only four range plus three, so seven total. So it's easy to outrange it with the Heavy Siege. Also, if you want a secondary counter, I'd say Arbalest and Skirm does pretty well because you have an extra range most of the time. I'd say avoid using infantry and cavalry against Chukunu because it usually just does a good job just shredding those, those things. Next up, we got the Cumans. Those guys got Kipchaks. Kipchaks are easy to counter. Just go Skirms or Arbalest and you should be completely fine. Kipchaks are only really good against Cavalry and they're really good against Camels. Don't go Camels versus Kipchak. It's not that good. Stick to like range units for the most part. It's going to be solid. And also Heavy Siege does pretty well against them as long as you can defend the Heavy Siege. Next, we got Javidians. They've got Arumi Swordsmen. Arumi Swordsmen are really easy to counter. Anything ranged will be just fine. They have zero Pierce Armor base, so even the Elite version gets melted by anything ranged. Avoid fighting them in melee combat, though, because they have a charge attack and wood steel, so they're really strong. They also have the ship, Theories I Die, or whatever it's called, and just counter that with fast fires or heavy demo in late game. Don't go Galleon versus it. It's really good against Galleon. Next, we have Ethiopians. They've got Chattel Warriors. The best way to counter Chattel Warriors is either heavy cavalry units or heavy infantry since they have pretty low HP and they move fast, but they're very squishy. Or you can go for like mass Arbless or mass heavy CA. I don't recommend hand cannon against Chattel because it moves very fast and hand cannon has a lot of overkill if, against Chattels. You know, you'll lose a few of them, but as soon as they close the gap, they, they're literally two hitting hand cannons and that's not good. Next, we've got the Franks and they've got the Throwing Axemen. Best counter Throwing Axemen is going to be either Arbalest or Hand Cannon. Hand Cannon is the best counter, Arbalest is secondary counter. If you don't have any of those two options, then I'd probably just recommend going Cavalry and trying to jump on them. Throwing Axemen is really not that scary. Next, we got the Goths. In early game, the best way to counter the Huskrolls is to use Monks. Monks can be solid against a few Huskrolls in the early game, but as soon as you start massing a lot of the Huskrolls, you can't really go Monks anymore because they've got way too many of them. So in that case, I highly recommend you mix in some heavy infantry. Uh, that's the best way to deal with the Huskrolls. If you don't have a set with good heavy infantry, then you could stick to like heavy cavalry, but be aware of the Goths' Halberdier. Hand Cannoneer and Gunpowder is not bad against the Huskroll, but the Huskroll, if they close the gap, will destroy your Hand Cannon. So Hand Cannons are only good if you can protect them. Otherwise, stick to heavy infantry or heavy cavalry. All right, moving on to Gajaras, they've got quite a few unique units. So the Shremsha Rider is usually pretty weak to Camel. Uh, I think Camel's a really good counter to the Shremsha Rider. Also, Halbs. So just anything that counters the Sar counters the Shremsha Riders. Avoid going ranged units against them. It's not going to be the best idea. And Monks don't really do that well because the Shremsha Rider moves so fast. So it's going to be easy to snipe the Monks, but it's decent in low numbers. How to counter the unique unit, the Chakram Thrower. Best way is just to use Arbless Hand Cannoneer from a distance. That's usually quite good. But I found that running heavy cavalry against them, like Cavalier, is also extremely good against Chakrams. Avoid using light cavalry like Camels or Hussars and infantry units like Halbadir, for example. Next up, we got the Hindustani. They've got the Ghulam. Best way to counter the Ghulam is heavy cavalry or heavy infantry. It does really well against light infantry and it really well against most ranged units and it destroys Eagle Warriors. So be wary of that, but everything else should be pretty fine. Next, we got the Tarkins from the Huns and Tarkins have eight Pierce Armors. I'd say avoid using anything Archer. Go for either your own heavy cavalry. So go Paladin that actually destroys Tarkin or you can go for Halbadir and that's a really good option as well. And Monks will work against Tarkin in low number. Monks usually work against any cavalry units that's expensive. 
Next, you have Incas. They've got two unique units. They've got the Kamuks and the Slinger. Under the Kamuks, I highly recommend you go with Hand Cannoneer or a heavy range unit like Heavy CA or Arbalest and just stay from a distance. Kamuk shreds everything up close in melee combat. There's enough of them, so just avoid fighting them in melee. And then how to counter slingers is also Arbalest or maybe Skirms from range. Both of those are pretty solid. But against slingers, you can also go for light cavalry like Hussar or heavy cavalry like Paladin is also pretty good. Same for Castlage, Knights or light cap should be fine against them. Also, I will say something like the Elephant Archer can be great against the slinger because it has such a low damage output. All right, next up, the Italians. They've got two unique units, the Condottiero and the Genovese Crossbow. Against the Genovese Crossbow, your best bet is going to be to go Skirmishers for the most part or your own Arbalest. Arbalest will outrange the Genovese Crossbow by one, so it should be pretty easy to take them out. And Skirmishers do pretty well against them as they also outrange them. Don't go Cavalry unit against the Genovese Crossbow. It's, it has insane damage against Cavalry. So either Arbalest, Skirms, or just a Siege unit should be completely fine. And against the Condottiero, avoid using gunpowder. So I'd say use heavy infantry or heavy cavalry or just mass arbalest should be fine against the Condottiero. Next up, we got Japanese with the Samurai. Against the Samurai, all archery units will be fine. Hand Cannoneer, Arbalest, and Heavy CA would be perfect. Avoid using infantry as Samurai has high damage output and avoid using unique units against the Samurai for obvious reasons. Next, we got the Khmer with the Ballista Elephants. Best counter is going to be Monks by far. Second best counter is Halbadir. And usually the best is a mix of Halb and Monk. And that will completely shut down Khmer. Because if they go Hussars to type your Monks, you've got the Halbs. And then their Ballista Elephant kind of dies to Halbs in low numbers. And then Monks just convert and pick them off. Next up, we got the Koreans, and they got two unique units, the wagons and the turtle ships. Against the wagons, the best thing is once again monks, since they have such low range, converting them is really, really solid. Otherwise, heavy cavalry like paladin or knight is going to be solid. And then skirms can also work sometimes. Camels are also pretty decent against the wagons. So just avoid using archers or heavy CA against them because that's not going to work too well as you know, wagons have a lot of pierce armor and are very tanky. Against turtle ships, I recommend going fire ships and demos. That's usually pretty solid. Or you can just use galleons and try to hit them from range. But if you're going to go galleons, make sure that you're able to kill the turtle ships before they can close the gap. Otherwise, just using the fire ships and demos should be able to trade evenly against them. Next up, we've got the Lithuanians with the Lightest, and in some cases, the Winged Hussar is considered a unique unit. Against the Lightest, the best thing you can do is range units or the classic counters to cavalry, like monks or halbs. I'd say avoid using your own cavalry and avoid using camels because the Lightest has such high damage output that it kind of shreds through uh, melee units very effectively. So definitely range units and halbs should be pretty solid, and then monks in low numbers. Against Winged Hussar, halb with is good, no problem. It's, you pretty much count it like a regular Hussar. Next up, we got Magyars with the Magyar Hussar, and this is also countered like a regular Hussar, but just keep in mind that the Magyar Hussar has a bonus damage against Siege, so be wary about that. But otherwise, your own Heavy Cavalry or Halbadir or Camel should be great against this unit. Next up, we got the Malay with the Karambit Warriors. Against Karambits, I highly recommend Heavy Cavalry, Heavy Infantry, or Mass Archers. Just avoid using trash units and avoid using groups of small numbers. You know, really go for a big mass to counter Karambits. Next, we got the Malians with the Gebedo. Against the Gebedo, I highly recommend you use range units like Arbalus or Hand Cannoneer. Don't use Skirms because you don't get the attack bonus against the Gebedo. And I highly recommend you don't use Infantry or Cavalry because the Gebedo has such high damage output and it can kite so easily against melee units. So stick to range units and also Heavy Siege works really well in the late game versus unit. Next, we got Plumed Archers. Siege Onager and Heavy Scorpion are amazing versus Mayans because they don't have Bomber Cannon nor Redemption Monks. So if they're going Plumed Archers, they have a very hard time dealing with you. Otherwise, you could just go for like Heavy Cavalry or Skirms to deal with the Plumed Archer. Avoid using Arbalest though, because Plumed Archer has a really good matchup against Arbalest and also has a good matchup against anything Infantry. Uh, next, you have the Mongols with the Mangadai. This unit is really strong, but I find the best counter is probably going to be Skirmishers or Arbalest. It, Mangadai doesn't, doesn't really die to Siege, so that's not really a good option. Also, it kind of shreds Heavy Camel too fast, so that's also not a great option. So I'd say Heavy Camel is okay as a secondary option to counter this unit, but mainly you want like Skirms or Arbalest to thin the numbers down. Uh, heavy Cav like Paladin doesn't really work too well, and Infantry gets shredded, so don't go for that. Next up, we got the Persians with War Elephants. Halves and Monks, easy counter. Monks are the best, Halves second best. Nothing else is really worth it against the War Elephant. Next, we got the Poles. They've got Obuch and Winged Hussar again. Obuch are a pretty solid unit, but the best counters is going to be like Hand Cannoneer or Arbalus. Avoid finding them in melee combat because they'll shred your armor and they're actually really solid in combat themselves. So range units are your best friend there. Against Winged Hussar, just try using Halbadirs for the most part. They have trample damage, so try fighting in spread formation as well. That could help out a little bit with your archers. I recommend going for mass archers against Winged Hussar in some cases too because the Poles don't get the less armor, though you can kind of shred the Hussar pretty fast before they can jump in and fight. 
Next we got the Portuguese and they got two unique in it, one on the navy and one on land. So they got the organ gun and the caravel. Against organ gun, I highly recommend you use monks with redemption or heavy siege like onagers or mangonels in castle. They've been changed recently, so mangonels do pretty good work against the organs. And in general, if you can close the gap on the organs, melee units like knights and long swords or champions can do pretty well. Otherwise, stick with long range archers. That's going to be your best friend and siege. Against the caravel, use fast fires. Do not use galleon. It counters galleon. It does very poorly against fast fires. Next, we got the Romans. They've got two unique units, the Centurion and the Legionary. Legionary is very similar to Champion, so anything that counters the Champion counters the Legionary. Against Centurion, I highly recommend you go Monks in Castle Age. The only thing that actually counters this unit, otherwise it has two strong stats. Uh, and in Imperial Age, it kind of works like a Paladin, so anything that counters a Paladin will counter a Centurion. So for example, Halbs, Heavy Camel, that kind of thing works pretty well. Uh, it has a good amount of Pierce Armor, so anything range doesn't really do that well against Centurion. I'd stick to some of the other counters. Next, we got the Saracens with the Mameluke. Let me be honest, if Mameluke can get really mass in late game, it can be a nightmare to counter. Uh, but generally, what works well against Mameluke is going to be Arbalest. Arbalest is great against Mameluke. You can pick them off from range. It has a lot more range and good damage. So you can take them out. Uh, avoid using Cavalry against Mameluke. It shreds you. Uh, you could go Camel in some case, but not the best. And I would say Heavy Siege works, but you have to make sure that the Mameluke can't run at you and kind of close the gap too much. Monks and Halps can also work if you combine them together. Monks to convert the Mameluke and Halps to prevent them from running in is a pretty solid counter. Next up, we got the Sicilians and they've got the Sergeants. Against Sergeants, the best thing I would say is just heavy infantry or heavy cavalry. Sergeants have a very low DPS, very low damage. So if you have a unit with a lot of armor, you can easily kill the Sergeant quite effectively. Anything in mass though, Arbalest and Heavy Sea work pretty well. It's really not that scary of a unit. Just avoid using trash units against it and avoid fighting with low amounts of units. Next, we got the Slav Boyar. Against Boyar, how would your heavy cam work well? Nothing else that's melee works well against this unit, maybe like the lightest and small exceptions, but otherwise Boyar will beat most melee units. Halb using Heavy Camel are the exception because they have bonus damage. Against Boyars though, you could probably go like Halb, Camel, Monk. Yeah, those are gonna be pretty solid as the three counters. Mass range units like Arbalest and Heavy Sea can work in some cases too. Next, we got the Spanish, and they've got Conquistador and Missionaries as their unique units. Against the Conquistador, I recommend Skirmisher is the best counter. Otherwise, Heavy Camel can be okay, and Arbalest can be okay, Heavy Sea can be okay. And then as far as against the missionary, best thing against the missionary is gonna be a light cav or a lot of archers and skirms. Those are usually the two best counters. Next up, we got the Tatars and they've got the Keshik and the Flaming Camel. Keshik is working like any kind of like heavy cav units. So Halbadirs and Heavy Camel will be your best friend. I would say avoid fighting with Knights or Light Cav against Keshik because you just give them free gold as they fight you in melee combats. And Keshik has pretty high pierce armor and costs very little gold. So Arbalest doesn't really work that well against it. So Halbs and Camels should be your best friend. And then the Flaming Camel, anything ranged usually does pretty well against it. Nothing, uh, nothing too crazy there. Next up, we got Teutons with the Teutonic Knights and Hand Cannoneers will destroy this unit. Arbalest will destroy this unit. Heavy Sea will destroy this unit. And sometimes Heavy Siege like Onagers and Heavy Scorpion can do pretty well. Nothing else really works though. In melee combat, Teutonic Knight destroys most things. Next up, we got Turks to Janissary. Arbalest, Heavy Sea, and Skirms once again are going to be your best friend against this unit. I'd say avoid using Siege because Janissary usually does pretty well against Siege. I think Cavalry can work, but only if you can close the gap. Vietnamese have the Rathan Archer and the Imperial Skirm as kind of a unique unit. But we're not going to count the Skirm, actually. I didn't count the Imperial Camel, so screw that guy. Uh, but for the Rathan Archer, the best thing to counter that unit is probably Heavy Siege. You know, it has a really high Pierce armor, but if you can get Onagers against it, Onagers do melee damage, so it's going to do a good job countering it. Otherwise, Rathan Archer doesn't really have a good counter. Uh, it's not the strongest unit, so sometimes you can go like 50 50 just by overpowering it with Cav or just trading against it with Skirms and Arbalest. Or sorry, not Arbalest, but just trading against it with like Skirms. But generally, just avoid using Arbalest and Heavy Siege against it because it has such high pierce armor so either melee units heavy siege or skirmishers is your best uh, options against it next up we got the vikings they've got two unique units to round things off so it's going to be the berserk and the longboat against the berserk uh, i'd recommend arbalest or hand cannoneer heavy c8 so the trio to counter infantry you can also include the elephant archer in that in some cases although i'd stick to the other three and then we have the Longboat, and the Longboat is usually counterable by Galleons only, and I would say not really counterable, it's just like you can deal with it. But the only two true counters to Longboats is the Dravidian Unique Unit and the Portuguese Unique Unit, so Theory's Eye Die, or whatever, and the Caravel. Uh, otherwise, you're just going pretty much even against Longboats at best. All right, that's going to do it for this video. Let me know if I left out any unique units that you know, I just didn't get to, didn't mention. Thanks so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. That's it. Peace. See ya.